What's up, bro? <clears throat> Today is what? Uh, Thursday? I just came back from getting my hair done. I'm about to get a chop in a little bit. But she she didn't, she braided. Like, normally I get the three braids all the way back. But normally she uh, braided, like, all the way back. But this time she braided, like, basically to the back. But I mean, all the way down. But this time she braided, like, to the back. And she just let the rest hang. So, I don't know. We're going to see how this rocking. Is. But um, currently, right now, I'm about to clean up my room. Okay, so let me tell you, let me get a rundown what happened. So I, I woke up this morning, um, hopping in the shower, got nothing to get my hair done. So I was hopping in the shower, my mom called me as soon as I'm about to get in the shower. And she's like, um, I heard her scream my name, so let me call her. Boom, boom. I called her, she's like, uh, yeah, what you doing? No, she said, come downstairs. And I was like, why? And she was like, I want you, I want you to meet somebody. So I'm like, Y'all know me, I don't really like meeting people and stuff like that. So I'm like, all right, I'm like, I'm about to get in the shower. So she was like, all right, he can, uh, you'll meet him when you get out. So I'm like, who is this, um, this man or something? So I get out the shower, I get dressed, brush my teeth, everything. I go downstairs, and it's a kid um, in the 10th grade. And I'm guessing my parents, I haven't really got the full details yet because, like, I just came back from getting my hair done. And right now he's sleep. He's sleep right now downstairs. But... I'm guessing they want me to mentor him basically because my mom she was like uh he's gonna be with me and my brother all day today and he's gonna like we're gonna, gonna get his hair cut with us too also so she, and she was like she wants she wanted me to like talk to him man so i'm like you know what's going on but he said that school was a waste of his time and stuff of that nature so and today is a school day so i'm guessing he was skipping school or something and he's one i'm pretty sure he's one of my dad's friends children and I'm guessing he probably was skipping school. Ooh, my head is sore. But I'm guessing he was skipping school and stuff. So my mom decided to, you know, help him out, whatever. And my dad, you know. So I don't know. I don't know the full details, but I'm just it's it's, it's mind blowing that me personally, you know, I already know y'all. Y'all know I'm always joking around about being an alpha and everything, but it's like I never expected for me, like on a serious note, I never expected for me to actually be the one to attempt or make a difference in someone's life like of course you know i go and feed the homeless and everything like that but for my parents to bring someone to me for me to basically quote unquote mentor it's crazy so you know you know i'm always gonna be down trying to help anybody i can so um i'm gonna go ahead and talk to him see what he's talking about you know i don't think i'm gonna put him on camera this time but i'm gonna try to make it a routine where you know i check up on him and i want to i want to fully talk to him so i can see if he likes books and everything of that nature because all I found his name was Prince and I was talking to him and he said he said school's a waste of time and I was like I'm not gonna give you sit here and preach to you about school because I feel like school is also a waste of time but at the same time you got to finish it and I told him like the most important thing is self-education but at that time I had to hurry up and leave to go get my hair because I was gonna be late so when he wake up I'm gonna go ahead and talk to him some more you know see, see get his lifestyle get his you know what's going on with him and everything of that nature so my battery about to die right now. So I'm about to cl actually clean up my room. Y'all, y'all normally would never see my room dirty like this, but I'm about to clean up my room, charge the battery, and then we'll see what happens. So y'all stay tuned. All right, so yeah, man, your boy up here looking good. Boy, hook me up, bitch. But yeah, anyways, um, I chopped it up with the uh the kid, um, that my parents brought over for me to mentor. I still haven't got the full details on them, but um. I gave him a good talk downstairs, and then I brought him up. I brought him in my room. My mom was like, "Let him see what I'm doing and everything, you know." Cause you know, I told him about the whole thinking go rich mission statement and everything. And my mom was like, "You know, take him in your room and show him your vision boards and you know this and that." So I let him read my mission statements. Um, showed him my six month plan. How I crossed out one of the things for January. I completed that. You know, I was just explaining to him how whatever his I want to, you know. I broke it down to him and I explained my tattoos to him. I don't know if y'all seen my tattoo with the Martin Luther King face with the dream on top. Um, reason why I got that was because, you know, first of all, he was a powerful man, you know. He wanted unity. And same with Michael Max. Reason why I got him, you know, they were powerful men that wanted unity, not only for the blacks, you know, the African Americans, but for everyone. And so that's why I got that. And the dream. I got the dream because to, uh, I, I want to be able to look at that in the mirror whenever I take a shower or anything and just be like, continue to focus on your dreams. And I explained that to him. I told him, I was like, your dream, whatever your dream is, it's going to be people that's going to tell you 
oh, you ain't gonna be able to do that dream, find something else to do, this and that. And I told him it could be your parents. I, so I explained to him my situation, you know, broke it down to him. Man. So um, I brought him up here, showed him my mission statement, and just, I printed out some pages from Think and Grow Rich and told him to read them. You know, he wasn't really interested in reading books. I was like, you know, I'm not gonna force you to read nothing, but I was like, just do some one thing for me. And I print out the uh, the sheet, the page from the book where it talks about your mission statement and everything and the format of how to write it. I told him, I was like, just do that for me. You know, write that down, read that, write, write down your mission statement, whatever it is, how much money you want, anything like that. And just, I told him to read it every night before he goes to sleep and every morning when he wake up. So, you know, I only can do so much. Hopefully he listened to me. He started to get a little comfortable while he, when I brought him in my room and I showed him uh, Mansa Musa. I showed him my vision boards over there with everything over there and brought him back here to this one and looked at that one and you know, so um when we just came back from getting haircuts, y'all see your boy looking good. Y'all know what I'm always saying. You got the auntie, the mama that got the auntie cut, you know, she a judge or a nurse, preferably a judge, you know, I really like judges, you know. Let me quit playing, man. But, uh, yo, man, I don't know what else I'm going to do. Man. I'm, I got to go to the bank right now because I got to go draw some money out and put it in my other account. I need to go. Well, I got to go to Walgreens, then the bank. So I need to hurry up and go there before it closed down. And, but, um, it's just, I just, I don't know. I didn't really do too much this day. Today, I just got my hair done, haircut, and it's just something I wanted to talk about, you know. Um, I, I wasn't even gonna make a video today, but I was just shocked, you know, for my parents to even look at me as a mentor for this kid, you know, and he's he's busy skipping school and stuff of that nature, and I explained to him, I like, you gotta finish high school. You might not have to go to college, but you gotta finish um, high school. And I, I explained to him the importance of self-education. I like, it's okay if you might not, you know, like school. I brought, I brought, it down to, I brought myself down to his level. I told him, I, brought, I was in the same position you was in, you know, um, we come from the same thing. And my dad, my dad's really a good man for what he's doing, you know. I, had a, I was raised right, as y'all can tell. So my, my family, you know, we always helping out somebody. And so it just, as y'all, y'all see when I be helping people and this and that, y'all see I get it from my parents. So I don't know what else to say, man. Just um, help out as many people as you can, help the youth. And I just felt blessed to even be, I just felt honored for my parents to even look at me to be a mentor for this kid, man. So, hopefully one of these days, you know, I get them comfortable, get, you know, hang out with them more, get them more comfortable where I can bring them on camera, you know. So, you know, as y'all see, y'all know, whatever, whatever, you know, continue this video. Um, update on the dude, um, you know, the guy I was mentoring. Um, I found out what's been, well, not, I truly didn't find out what was been going on, but I found out a little bit more about him. Uh, he was skipping school and he had locked his parents out the house and he 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 is my dad's friend's son and, and he had locked his dad out the house and he wouldn't let him in so he his dad called my dad so my dad went up to his shop i mean to his house from my dad's business went to his house and was trying to help the dad you know get him to open the door so then they called my mom to come my mom came they talked to him and they talked to him and stuff of that nature took him back to the office or whatever to my dad's office and then brought him here for me to talk to him and stuff um, but come to find out, I've seen the, the kid before when he was younger, when I was probably like fresh out of high school, like 2014. And when I was working in my dad's business, his dad used to bring him and his sister to the shop and let them sit in there and uh, play on the computers while the dad went to work or whatever. So come to find out, I do know the kid. Um, but if you believe in, you can do it. I told him, I was like, I believe in you. You can accomplish that dream, you know? Just start up the 401k. I already talked to y'all about that in the past. The previous video, y'all gonna see. I'm, I'm actually editing that right now, putting a thumbnail on that. Um, I haven't really been doing too much, man. Y'all seen the Super Bowl? It was trash. Um, I got a video I want to talk to y'all. I think I might drop that video actually earlier before I drop this one. So it might be up. You know, check that up there at the top, a little eye. But I'm gonna talk about the whole 21 Savage situation and all that nature. You know just gonna be one of my talks in America we need to talk simple as that um I think I don't, I don't really have nothing else to say right now I can't really think of nothing you know make sure y'all rate subscribe and comment if something else comes to my mind I'll come back and talk to y'all um once again I'm from way off y'all see the ashy hands y'all know how we doing man but yeah make sure y'all rate subscribe and comment bro let me get my thumbnail real quick
fine, I got my thumbnail. So yeah, I'm out. Make sure you subscribe and comment.